Hi, I'm Simon from the Red Ferret and I've been using the GPD Win for the past two weeks and today I'm going to tell you the pros and the cons about this device. So for you guys who don't know it, this GPD Win is a very small device which runs a full Windows 10 copy and that's very nice, that's very cool. So let's just check it out, let's get inside the device. It's the size of a Nintendo DS XL, something like that. And yeah, it has all the Windows button and even Xbox buttons uh, you can dream of. So I hope you guys can see it a little bit because in my other video of the GPD Win, it was a little difficult to see the screen. And that's my first point. The brightness of the screen is not that good. So that's my first negative point actually. It, should be a little brighter in, in dark areas, you see it well, but like right now it has a lot of reflection uh, of other bright things. It's, uh, that's not that good, it's on full brightness right now and you probably can't see it that well on the top camera. I'm going to show you on this camera. Second negative thing is that it's, um, yeah, it's plastic, it's not uh, metal or something which would be a lot cooler if it was full metal, but it's plastic, the buttons on the back are a little, yeah, they don't feel that sturdy in place, and yeah, overall it's, it's, it's plastic, these buttons are good, that's okay, the uh, keyboard buttons are okay, but the rest of the buttons are pretty plastic. But when you look at the price, that's probably the point where they uh, got the quality a little lower, so they could keep the price low as well. In some games I noticed that this button was not really responsive. I don't know whether it was the game or the button itself because in other games it worked, so I have no idea. But they feel a little, yeah, a little squishy and a little plasticky and they ramble a little, so not that good. The next negative point is a little discussion point. It has a small screen and for some people that's good, for other people that's not good. It has a small screen, so it's difficult to read articles on newspapers, for example, or play games where you have to look very closely to the screen to see something, but it also has a small screen because it's very portable. And that's the positive part on this device, but we'll get to the positive points later on in the video. Fifth negative thing is a learning curve. When you get this out of the box, it's a little difficult to get used to the controls. So moving the mouse cursor, you have to do that with this button and then clicking with this button. And it takes a while to get used to. Also, typing is a little yeah, cramped up because it's a very small keyboard you get here. And yeah, changing out the uh, game pads and the ventilator on the back is also something you need to think about when you're playing games, for example. But I have to say, once you get used to it, it's fairly easy to work with. And then last negative point I have to say was when gaming, when you have fast-paced games, for example, Team Fortress 2, it's a little difficult because I have the feeling the mouse speed is pretty slow. I uh, adjusted it to full speed and it's still really slow. So you walk around and, and yeah, you have to really make sure you, 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 you shoot fast. Also this button didn't work every time this button worked. So I changed it to this button and, and yeah, it's just, it's a little bit difficult to uh, play shooter games, fast paced games on a small screen like this. So yeah, that's maybe something you have to take in consideration when you want to buy this device. That were all the negative points and we can finally go to the positive points because this device actually has a lot of positive points. You would think because I, th I, I said all the negative points right now, it's a bad device. It's really not a bad device. So first positive point is full windows and that blows my mind every time I open it. This is just a full Windows experience. You get no exceptions whatsoever. This is just a Windows experience on a device the size of a Nintendo DS. And that's that, that, that's just amazing. If you, if you can see it, you can see this. This is just full Windows, as you can see. So it, the, there are no exceptions on the Windows thing. And uh, that's, that's very good. That's very nice. And I, I'm still amazed. I'm always like, how do I install something and I'm just like, oh yeah, it's a Windows device, I, I just do it like on Windows PC, like, yeah, it's the same. Second thing, already said, it's very portable. It's uh, the size of a Nintendo DS, already said that like three times. Look, this is my uh, iPhone 6 and it's, uh, of course, a lot thicker than an iPhone 6, but in size, it's maybe yeah, one third bigger on the sides, but that's it. And you can easily get this inside your backpack or something and it doesn't weigh a lot, like 200 grams or something, I have no idea. 
And yeah, if you have to choose between this or a big laptop, and you don't need it for uh, for extreme hardcore gaming, I would go for this one. Third thing are the ports. The ports are very good on this device. So on the back we have a USB type C port. We also have a mini HDMI, so you can even connect it to a screen if you want to. So that's good as well if uh, you uh, have issues with the small screen. You have an SD card uh, slot input, which uh, has an SD card in right now. You have a USB 3.0, which is very nice. And it has an audio jack, it also has Bluetooth of course and Wi-Fi which is um, yeah, like the basic needs. But it's still a uh, portable desktop, laptop thing with Windows 10. So it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and yeah, that's all good so um, good points for that. The volume on this thing is also very loud, loud so let's just uh, get it on a full volume. The sound is pretty loud but it has a little distortion when it's on the loudest volume. But let's just check it out. As you can hear for such a small device it's pretty loud so the volume comes from this side and this side as well. This on the back is the ventilator for uh, cooling down the device. Ooh, calm down. Yeah, but sound, very good on such a small device. And then another thing I want to talk about are the controls. You don't see this on many devices. It's actually a very unique device. So you have the uh, D gamepad controls where you can uh, choose the D gamepad uh, for uh, controlling your games for example. You have the mouse controls where you can just uh, use the mouse for gaming of course, which is very uh, normal. And then you also have the Xbox uh, controls, so you have the Xbox buttons over here and then the joysticks of course. But that's cool, so if a game has Xbox uh, control input, then you can use the Xbox controls to get a real life gaming experience. So you're just like gaming on an Xbox but you're still on Windows 10, so that's very cool. You don't need to connect an Xbox controller via Bluetooth, you just have the Xbox controller or buttons connected or installed on the GPD Win, and that's very neat as well. Oh, and did I mention that the GPD Win is actually pretty fast? It has an Atom X5, it has four gigabytes of RAM, and uh, storage up to 64 uh, gigabytes, I think, and you can also, um, yeah, expand it with a micro SD card or a uh, external hard drive because you have an USB input as well, so, yeah, it's a very good and a very nice device. And then uh, another positive point is the screen quality. This is HD quality because it's a very small screen. That's why it's HD quality. When you're gaming, for example, the quality on the games are uh, not HD. They are on a low setting, but because the screen is so small, it's HD. So that's good as well. And uh, that's a very good option on this device. And then the price is the last thing I want to talk about is 365 pounds. Which can be a lot for some people, but for the things you're getting, you're getting a full Windows PC which runs very smooth, which runs very smart. What was that? You get a full Windows 10 experience which runs very fast and very smooth. So yeah, you can't really complain. It's not a big device, but that's where the price tag comes at that price range because it's so small. So yeah, for £365 you're getting a very good device for a good price, in my opinion. So let's just check out the gaming on this device. But uh, I'm going to uh, play Team Fortress 2 for a little bit, so you can already hear the volume.
All right, so you saw some gaming on Team Fortress 2. As you can see, when it's fast paced, it's a little bit uh, difficult to um, yeah get the full gaming experience. But when you game low paced games like Path of Exile, for example, it goes a little bit better and uh, actually much better. So if you guys want to see more about this device, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have any questions regarding this device, let me know in the comment section down below as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. And I hope I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.